Hi guys, Recap Prince here. Today I'm going to explain a 1997 thriller drama called My Stepson, My Lover. This is about a woman who was feeling trapped in a loveless marriage to a wealthy man then she turns her handsome stepson to be her lover, but when the affair is revealed, the consequences are fatal. The scene started with helicopter where they bring the patient to the hospital. The patient name is Richard and he's in critical condition. Caitlin the nurse on duty tried to save his life. After recovering from the hospital Richard court Caitlin with so much gift since he's a wealthy man. They date in some fancy restaurants and even ride a private helicopter. Soon Richard proposed to Caitlin and they got married. They held the reception at Richard's mansion where a lot of guests attended the event. Since Caitlin wants to get some fresh air, she went to Walken Tavern where she saw a shirtless handsome guy riding a horse. Caitlin taught the guy as one of the workers then Richard arrived and introduced his son Eric to his new wife. Caitlin is a bit shocked because she taught he's one of the worker in the mansion. After the wedding Richard and Caitlin go on their honeymoon and they get intimate for their first night. The following morning Richard's secretary is showing Caitlin about Richard collections of firearms and some keys. While having a breakfast Caitlin and Richard argue because Richard is always busy with work. Rick provided everything that his wife needs all the material things but Caitlin is not happy since Rick is always out to work leaving her alone in the house. While on the garage Caitlin saw her stepson and Eric invited her to have a motorbike ride. They go to a cabin where Eric is building it himself. It's like a vacation house on their own. Caitlin saw Eric swimming half naked so she tees him to throw his shirt. Caitlin went back to work in the hospital because she's so boring at home. Eric visited Caitlin at the hospital and asked her to have a drink on the bar. They dance and party and get drunk. After arriving home Caitlin went to swimming and Eric saw her beautiful body. The next morning Caitlin helped Eric to build the cabin, they fixed the balcony and some woods. After their work they went to swim in the lake and have fun. They had one-on-one -on -one talk about life and things before Caitlin decided to go home. At home she's alone and trying to call Rick, but she can't reach her husband. Caitlin decided to leave the house and teach some children at the hospital to keep her busy. Eric meet Caitlin at the parking and told her that his dad Rick is now impossible to have any kids. Caitlin had argument with Rick because she really wants to have kids but Rick is not capable anymore due to some medical conditions. Since Caitlin is so disappointed Rick give her peace offerings of diamonds but Caitlin declined telling Rick that she wants to have a normal family. They had arguments and Rick said Caitlin won't win over him. Feeling alone and betrayed Caitlin went to see her stepson at the cabin and she saw him swimming shirtless and she kiss him and they have intimate night. When Caitlin arrived home Rick confronted her and her husband told her that he knew where she went and what she did. She's been unfaithful and had an affair with his own son. Rick is so angry and went to cabin to confront his son Eric. Caitlin tried to stop him but she can't so she just followed him at the cabin. 
When she arrived, she saw Eric and his dad on the ground with the head bleeding. Eric said it was a self-defense. They called ambulance and went to hospital. Caitlin was being questioned at the hospital while Eric has been arrested. Few moments the doctor said that Caitlin's husband had died. Since Eric is the primary suspect, Caitlin consulted a lawyer to help Eric for the defense. Caitlin visited Eric at the cell and telling him what's her plan and she's doing anything to help him get out of the prison. Eric is so thankful and he kissed Caitlin. Eric faced the trial and he said that it was self-defense because his dad has a gun and it was pointed out to him. They stand the trial but detectives cannot find the gun Eric is telling about. No gun was found on the crime scene. The secretary also stand as witness saying that Caitlin could also be one of the killer or with the sole motive. Caitlin really wants to help Eric so she decided to go to the cabin and she found the gun of his husband on the ground. She bring the gun to her lawyer and explain everything. Her lawyer advise her that she needs to stand as witness. Caitlin go to witness stand but it turns out that the lawyers are pointing out her affair with her stepson. The lawyer said because of the affair to her stepson her husband becomes violent. The lawyer asked if she have sexual relationship with her stepson and the people in the courtroom is shocked when Caitlin answered yes. The lawyer of Eric won the case because they found out it's really a self-defense. Eric was released from prison and went home. The first thing he did was look for her stepmom and kiss her passionately and they had intimate night. The following morning Caitlin and Eric live like a real couple. They always do what husband and wife are doing but for some reasons Caitlin is now avoiding her stepson saying that she needs some space. They had arguments because Eric don't want to let go of Caitlin. He even offered Caitlin to go to Hawaii where they can live in peace. Once again, they make up and had an intimate night in the cabin. Caitlin get the key from Eric drawer and Eric was so mad not finding the key. Caitlin called her lawyer saying that she found a key that can totally solve the case. The lawyer said the it's just substantial evidence she need to find a strong evidence to know if it was really a self-defense or Eric really killed his dad. After finding out that Eric might have killed his father because of money Caitlin confronted Eric and Eric lost his balance and fell down on the cliff. On the last scene Caitlin is now managing the house and the business of her husband while she's taking care of Eric who's in a wheelchair. She still loves Eric so she takes care of him. Do you like our story? Do you think stepmom and stepson can live happily as a couple? Comment your thoughts below. Also comment which part of the movie is your favorite? Like and subscribe to support our channel. Thank you for watching Recap Prince.